So we don't put anything else in that, right? Add a couple drops of this. Three. Okay. And a drop or two of that. Swirl it around. I like this color. And see if it changes color. Oh, it looks like it's not really changing. Yeah, no, it just looks like it's mixing. So is it possible for the lipids to be negative? Just one experiment in biomedical sciences class that instructor Denise Metz says is critical thinking with a hands-on approach. The Project Lead the Way Biomed class is a series of four courses. It was designed about eight or nine years ago so that we could take students to higher levels of math and science and medical sciences in general, a higher level of understanding so they could be successful in college. And what we're finding is that students get out of their regular public high school and they're not ready for college course work that will take you to those levels of training. Met says the class helps create an interest for the bioscience field and it gives them an advantage. It whets their appetite and it also teaches them problem solving, critical thinking. It takes their math and science to a higher level. It gets them into the terminology. And I think maybe one of the most important things is the skill level, using digital pipetting, using electrophoresis, thermocyclers, polymerase chain reactions, really um, going out there on a new frontier for this age group anyway as far as the type of skill base that they're learning and and sometimes even in the four-year college programs they don't get that far so you can imagine if they've got that training already and then they get into those courses they're going to be above and beyond they got that edge. Jordan Teague is a student and says the class confirms what he wants to do for a career. It actually whet my appetite for nanotechnology which I'm excited for and hopefully excel in a career close to that. Student Cheyenne Doherty says she wants to be a microbiologist. I'm always interested in science and math and um, I've always had this interest in cells and other organisms and I want to study on how they work in their environment and research them. It's an education that Met says is done entirely without books. We have our curriculum online, we have the internet, we have all types of labs that we're doing, so we're really not using books per se. It's hands-on technology, computer-based learning. Hands-on learning that Teague says excites him. I like that I get to dissect and I get to do experiments that I've never thought I would do at home and be engaged in an environment like this. It's very hands-on. And that's another thing that I love about this class. It's just not like looking at a book or listening to other people and watching other people do these experiments and activities. And you could do it yourself. Right in here, but I would get all the way open in there. The labs are really fun, and especially when we first start to dissect things. So I love dissecting things. I think it's really fun. I mean, some people may think it's uh, weird and gross, but I love it. I think it's really fun. I think just hands-on in, in this class is a lot better than just going through a book, because sometimes, you know, kids, they get bored by going through a book, and but like, if you're actually experiencing things and get to dig in and get to learn bits and pieces of things you don't know, I think it helps more to improve your intelligence and what you might need to know in the future. To the right, this is the tricuspid. No. It's Metz is preparing students to further their education. After this program's completed, they will go into different college programs. I have students at OSU that are majoring in veterinary sciences. I have students that are already all the way to OU Medical School. I have students that are in forensic science. They go to UCO and they go on into the, the forensic science departments. I have one right now in epidemiology in the Tulsa OU program. So they're all different directions science careers fueled by students' passions. Most students really enjoy it and have fun if that's their learning. So I feel like when anytime you can learn and take yourself to a new level of learning and enjoy the process, you're in a good place. Learning the science of life and preparing for a future that's on the cutting edge.